Jennifer Hill, a musician and Mama Swan. We were just saying, it's probably been seven years we've uh, worked on promoting this event with you. At least, at least about seven years yes. it has. I'm very excited. That's great. What, what can people expect? I mean, we, a lot of performers? Well, you can expect a day. <laughs> Well, the venue is in New Britain, mm -hmm. and it's Trinity on Main. Uh, and, people and are going to be pretty artists, excited uh, yeah. uh, because you're going to be there as well. Me? I, I'm, I'm not. I think you, we have a picture. I, I guess, you know, <laughs> Ebony, who, who's co-hosting, and she's a costume designer, she's wearing a swan on her head, so she designed that costume for me. But it's like I, I, I wore it without the wig, okay. and then I put the wig on, and I transformed it into like a... In, in 80s, you like looked rock great, star. Rye, I'm sure so you, you have a whole different persona when right, you put that wig on. I'm like I'm Rick Rickerson from the IPA <laughs> name. Like it should be like, you know. I think you can come up better than Rick Rickerson though. Yeah, Rick, Rick, <laughs> something better. better? Than that. Okay. <laughs> Jennifer, how do we get <laughs> tickets for tea? We're on Twitter. We're on Instagram. So you can find all your info there. Check and it out this Saturday. Girl yep, power. I this love Saturday. This. And follow Empowering me, women. Rick Rickerson. <laughs> It's going to be big. All right. The Bracket Challenge has a winner. Yeah, big, wow. big money. West Virginia, Fun, not right? too shabby. And I think Warren Buffett has enough money to uh, spread the wealth, which he does. I mean, he's a very charitable it's a guy. a little more exciting, yeah, right? Yeah. All right, so maybe your bracket isn't doing as well. Maybe you could use the help of some babies in but Wisconsin. I'm going to be dangerous and guess U UConn for the win, the championship this year. You think? I think they're waiting for you. <laughs> I do. All right. Uh, so moving on. Now, George Clooney has always been a ladies' man. We know that. He's even, even though he's married, he still has that uh, way about him, right? right? Or, or as our producer said, je ne sais quoi. I are, saw that, but are, I didn't. Are you a French it. major? Are you <laughs> no. a, a, anybody here French? Je ne sais quoi. All right. He hey. recently gave it. Hi. Is is there a celebrity that you would like to have visit you or surprise you when you're 87 <sighs> or today? I do like Matthew McConaughey a little bit, but the story mm -hmm. reminded me of something that happened yesterday. What, what's that? When you helped a little lady and her dog cross the street. I, yeah, I put the but she was walking home to her hubby, so hopefully he doesn't see this. That you know was a I'm nice saying? thing you did oh, there. Yeah. All right, and another celebrity making some news another today. Another celebrity? I'm, I'm not. But. I think we were talking about George Clooney. Oh, right. Okay, right. I, I just wanted to clarify. <laughs> okay? Sure Only that. Ellen DeGeneres could turn a trip. Yeah. Excuse me, I thought I'd hey. bite that one off. Hey, now. Hey, uh, speaking, speaking of prom, it's all good. Coming up here March 30th, we have a big prom extravaganza here. Yeah, we're going to have dresses. We're going to have tux. Our friend Jem Preserata is throwing a, kind of a masquerade ball. And nice. it's, uh, we're going back to high school. And, and I hear back in the day you were the prom queen. Is that true? Oh, that the, might have happened. But might, that was just yeah. years ago. Just, yeah. You were the homecoming king. Yeah, but it's not the same thing. We don't have a homecoming show. We only have a we prom could. show. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All right.